Alright guys, we're back. Hey guys. Uh, we are playing some more- this will be its own episode, won't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. So we are currently heading somewhere, someplace in the Yonder, to collect a defense boosting item. Yeah, we're on our way to get the defense boosting ring, um, and then we're gonna head out to Dungeon 3. That's it. Um, would you say the dungeons are like, um, follow the thing? A thing? Yeah, like, so like third dungeon would be more in line with like, I don't know, lava and such or something? Uh, no. The, the colours just change just about it. Okay. That's not, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Because Zelda's known for, like... Again, it's... first game. A lot of staples were yet to be made. I guess. Uh, Link to the past does that, doesn't it? Yeah. Um... Is that the one I played? No, I played it. Link's Awakening. I actually didn't play Link to the Past. Hmm, um, but I'm pretty sure it does themes though. I'm not sure. Anything be before Ocarina of Time is like unknown to me. Anything like Minish Cap or any of those sort of games, like Four Swords. Yeah. Oh, I love Four Swords. I've never played them. Actually, no, they gave Four Swords for like um, the Ambassador program or something, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's how I got it. Yeah, okay. So no, I've played for, I've played a little bit of Four Swords with my brother on like multiplayer, but never completed it. I never mm. paid too much attention to it, I just sort of like took it for granted. Um, I find it's a pretty refined Zelda experience. Um, because of how you can use the items, you can actually jump in that game. Well thought out, very put, well put together sort yeah. of thing. That was, my first, uh, that was my first Zelda experience and after that it was this game. Was Minish Cap the first Zelda game to be like a Toon Link-esque sort of style or was that Four Swords? Minish Cap, wasn't that GBA or...? I th isn't Four Swords GBA? Yeah, Four Swords is... Yeah. Wh which came first, do you know? Wasn't Wind Waker Toon Link? Yeah, but Four Swords came before that, and the concept art was like the Toon Link style. Oh, was it? Link, yeah, it was. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so I guess that would be the first. But it wouldn't be the first where they were in like fully rendered models. Like 3D rendered oh, models. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2D Toon Link, I guess. Yeah. See, now I'm one-shotting all these uh, blue Octorox. So if you shoot your sword out, your shield goes down. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Like so that. you're open for being invulnerable. Oh. Yeah. Open for vulnerability. Yeah. But the shield does a decent enough job of blocking certain projectiles. This game is like 1980-something, isn't it? Uh... 1986? Six. Yeah, I, think. I thought so. Mm, I think. I think I saw 6, so we'll just go with that. Yeah. But... Hold on. Uh, I want to dice across the shop. These are the... um. um I have no idea what these things are. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Ah, uh, like likes. No, the like likes uh, look like a stack of pancakes. Okay. These look like. And they act like like likes. They take your shield. These look like like likes though. Like they go under. Oh, like likes don't go underground though. Uh, like likes. No, not that I recall. Whoa! Phew, made it. I don't even care if I die right now. Right now. So the one on the right is what? It's a quest item that you need to pass a dungeon, so we'll come back here when we have 60 rupees and we'll pick it up. And it's for like, somewhere like dungeon 6 or something? Yeah. But now I pour... <laughs> you have a beautiful falsetto. One of these days you're going to get air conditioning, ducted air conditioning. That will be the day I move in with you. <laughs> That'll be the day my garage will be full. I swear, if I take my shirt off, my nipples will be dripping wet. 
Just like uh, pouring too, streams of Too blood. much information I find. <laughs> Look, like every part of my body is sticking to every other part of my body. Well, unfortunately, if we had the aircon on in here, uh, we'd be hearing this ridiculous. <laughs> Sadly, it's a sad life for us. Where am I? Do you ever get uh, ability to swim? No, you get the ability to cross uh, lakes or uh, small rivers. Okay. So there's that, I guess. Is it like a three block distance sort of thing? Like there's a... It's a one block bridge that you get. Yeah. And... Uh, and like... If it's not a one block river then... It's pretty much screwed. What was that rupee? It looked like a blue... I think it was a blue rupee. That's what I hate about the small shield, it's, it's sometimes if you position yourself right you can block stuff, but not always. So what if you're facing... If you're facing something, you most often will block it. Okay, but there's still a chance that you won't block it. Yeah. Because the small shield does not cover much of Link. Ah, oh, so the right side of him looks more vulnerable. Yeah, it does. Okay. We're just going to go get our health refilled right quick. Does she stay? Yeah, she's infinite. I feel like there'd be like a secret cave thingy at the back of that wall. Yeah. Uh, to... Like, just to make it harder to find a worth, worth more the effort. What do you mean? Like, for... Like, she's right out in the open, yeah? Uh, for her to... Like, you're saying it would be better if she was a secret. No, 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 I'm saying like, that back wall, the rocky... The rocky wall. Yeah. It looks like there'd be a secret. Like uh, oh, because like it's like a, uh, because of the behind the pond kind of deal. Yeah, it looks like an ideal place to put something. Yeah. Don't uh, video game logic. Everything is behind the waterfall. And now I'm taking half damage, which is going to allow me to be a lot more reckless. And here we go, dungeon three. What the hell is that thing? Uh, last part. It looks like a tech doll with a surskit. Like yeah, we, you said that last part too. Oh, it's the same thing as the yeah. Suskits, okay. It looked like a variation. Yeah, it's pretty much a Suskit. I think I remember this. Lime green. Like the fish dragon things? This is the Schwastika dungeon, I think. Have you watched um, Luigi Mansion, like the first one? Yeah. You know the purple ooze boss? Um, In the graveyard? Not exactly. Uh, he purple like, ooze. I know there's a ghost that just grabs you and it's purple. Yeah, I think. Oh no, that's not the one. But that's just a common enemy. Um. Well, I'm referring to the first one, by the way. First of, uh, the first. Yeah, yeah. Luigi's first, mansion. first Luigi's mansion. You know the the bosses. Yeah. There's the dog boss in the backyard. Yeah. Oh, and the owner of that. And then there's the goo thingy. And what he does is he... Is he isn't he a pile of bones? He's like a corpse. Like who? The... The ooze thing. Is the ooze thing found in the same area as the dog? Um... More or less, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, but he doesn't... Yeah, so... Let me think... He's, like, he's found in the graveyard where you find the skeleton ghosts. But he's in the backmost grave. You have to trigger it, and then you'll be teleported to like a ring yeah. arena. Yeah, I, I, I kind of know what you're talking about. What, yeah. what about him? Those um ones you just saw, those enemies you saw just back there look exactly like him. Oh, the the globs. Yeah, whatever. Is that the, what they're called? Uh, if you had your phone out, you could tell me. Oh, that's it. That was just made up. But they, I don't know. They, they look well, what kind of a name is a glob? It just looks like a massive blob, but they. Uh, they turn into those dessert disasters. Uh, if you hit them with one swing, they shrink up into those. That, that's that's going to be my official name for those uh, chocolate drops now. <laughs> dessert disaster. Do you have to kill these guys? I'm not sure why I am killing them. Maybe because I've had so much of a hard time with these guys that I want to express my superiority. Vendetta. Yep. 
actually, no, I do. To get to the treasure, which is down here. Whoa. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Invincibility frame. <laughs> oh my god. The hell is that? It looks like a raft. Uh, I think he just answered your own question. Is it really? <laughs> it's just a raft, yeah. Oh, the, the one block wide river thingy. No, this one takes you on a set path. What? what? But you can only use it off uh, wharves. Oh. Okay. Uh, the, the item that... Yeah, see those brown things? They look like the purple ooze guys. The ooze guy from Louis' Mansion. The, they're green. Yeah, the purple one. Yeah. I mean, the brown guy. They look dark green. No, oh, he's brown. You're brown. He's brown. 100% brown. Fuck you, you're brown. <laughs> <laughs> Call me brown. Cool. We don't endorse racism on this channel. We're just pretty... Uh, but he started it. We're just pretty blatant with skin colours. Um, it's green. Are you referring to the background? No, the monster, it's green. Look, dude. we're gonna come up to some more. Look, it's green. That's brown, dude. This is like some... Uh, this is like commenters, the, uh, commenters This is us. like the argument that me and my brother would have. It's like, dude, do you think that's purple? Dude, that's blue! Sort of thing. <laughs> Just be like, okay, whatever, mate. I'm, I'm just gonna like leave you alone. All right. But oh, that is brown. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger man and just drop out his argument. <laughs> no, and well, and I'm, it's brown. I'm and gonna it's be brown. the bigger man first. <laughs> and it's brown. Fuck you. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> <laughs> you, you little bandwagon jumping motherfucker. Have you seen that thingy? Um. Um, it was a dad and his kid, I think it was like a vine sort of thing, Yeah. and it, the dad is like, oh was it the Simpsons, or maybe it was a Simpsons episode, a dad and his kid, they were arguing, um, and the dad was like, yes, the kid was like, no, yes, no, yes, no, and then he says no, and then the kid's like, yes, wait, <laughs> dang it, <laughs> duck season, rabbit like, season, that's like, parent one, child zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the middle of that story, we just uh, defeated the boss of the dungeon. That was the boss? Yeah, it was Manhandler. It looked like a flower. It was something called Manhandler, so, you know, take that for what you will. Oh. How long was that? Uh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Wow. Do you think we'll do like an episode per Each dungeon? Per dungeon. Uh, maybe. It depends. If I can get the next one done really Because, quick. yeah, if you do two dungeons, then, then it'll be close to half an hour. Which would be a pretty long episode. Uh, actually, dungeon four is right here. Maybe it's like, um, dependent on what part of the game we're up to, I guess. Yeah, I reckon... So some might be one or two dungeons, or just depending on how long it takes. Yeah. So what does that rough do? Oh, we discussed it, sorry. <laughs> you don't listen to me. I just forgot it existed. So I had to reiterate. And do need to grind these for rupees though. No. Go and gamble no. some cash, dude. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You have, you have 20. You have two tries. Assume you I don't, don't lose I don't, I'm not even near any gambling. Actually, let me just. Uh, I think I'm just gonna show you up by finding another 100 rupee uh, depository. You're here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Uh, and it's the block at the top left, right? Yep. Yeah. You have to off screen yourself there. Yeah, I don't know. If I kill these guys, they won't come back. Okay. Just under the bush. That looks so dodgy. <laughs> like barely nicked it. There it counts. He, look, he's giving you the fingers. <laughs> well, I would too if someone came into my house and asked for a hundred bucks. Didn't even ask, just stole his hundred rupees. Well, that's what happens when you leave your money on the floor in front of you. Well, to be fair, he did, lo he did lock his door. You kind of blew up his entrance. It's not my fault his house can't withstand the force of an explosive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, maybe I should go by the uh, shield. Actually, we're right here. Let's go get that quest item. So it doesn't bite us in the ass later. Which one? That meat. Oh, right. It's right here. Yeah. So, do us ourselves a service. How far are we from the gambling sport? <laughs> yeah. I'm being serious. We need I money. know, but you just sound like an addict. <laughs> we need money. We don't need money. We have 123 bucks. No, we have 63. You're ruining our vacation. We have 63. We could have another 190 something. I was going to go on a tour of the islands and you're just spending it on everything. Ross for me. I'm not going to buy it. Imagine buying a ring again. <laughs> Is there any point in buying it again? No. Uh, if you see up in the menu, it's equipped there at the top where the raft is. But you can keep buying it, it'll just like over over. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you've got money to waste. If old games had achievements, that would be like an achievement. Buy Sherry Rings for no reason. <laughs> no. Achievements are most more or less pointless. You're pointless. Achievements are cool. Well, they I am an achievement hall. They add, they technically add content. Like, yeah, they add different gameplay styles, but there are some where it gets out of hand. Like, Avatar, I think I the think last Avenger. I think probably the worst achievement I've ever found was play Prince of Persia without using a sand bending power once. I'm like, isn't that the whole point? To use the time bending powers to save yourself. But have you heard of the Nuzlocke challenge? Yeah, it's sort of the same concept. I guess, but like if it's doable, like. But here's the difference: uh, a nonstop challenge, you still get to play RPG esque battles with Pokemon. You're just limiting yourself in a different way. You're not removing the gameplay element. But with um, with uh, doing a no sand bending run on Prince of Persia, you're pretty much removing the core element. I feel like that's just for the diehard fans. That oh, I did it. It wasn't fun. Oh, you actually did it. I actually did it. Yeah. And it's tedious too because you gotta let the time run out because they give you like save yourself time and you gotta let that run out for every level for every time you die so that it doesn't count that you used your ascending bending powers wow so you have to let yourself die like fully so how do you know that don't worry don't worry that just sounds too hardcore for me how do you know what no it's fine no ask uh I don't wanna. Okay, I already forgot what I was gonna ask. <laughs> I guess let me try. Do you were you gonna ask how do you know if um you use the power or not? Yeah, that's it. Um, it, it's a button press. So if you never press that, if you never like, press, like, do they it, notify you at the end of every level? Like, no, you no. didn't use it. Like, okay, uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not being clear. Um, when you die, uh, a timer, a small timer appears on the um screen. Yep. When that runs out, you are completely dead. But uh, if you happen to use your sand bending power in that time, you can save yourself. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. So you got to wait for that timer to run out every time you die, and that can happen a lot. What with falling from massive heights. Yeah. Okay. Still, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. How many hours would you have taken to finish that? Um, probably twice as long as normal. It was a ten-hour game. It wasn't too. It was a, a PlayStation 2 remake, so wouldn't have taken as long as maybe a PlayStation 3, like Last of Us kind of thing. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't do it. No way. That's what I mean by achievement hall. I will do almost anything. For achievements. How'd you turn the lights on? Uh, if you use the candle, uh, it turns the lights on in the room. Like you flick a candle on and off and then there's infinite light for the rest of the Yeah. The logic. <laughs> I don't know, I guess the light stays but the fire goes even though that makes no sense. Lingering light, yeah. <laughs> or maybe a link, uh, actually, he's not a link, he's fake in this playthrough. Um, if fake is just delayed reaction. So he still sees the light even though it's been diminished for about an hour. Sure is bright in here. Good thing I bought my gunners. These guys like this. They did nothing. Don't cut my family. <laughs> These ones are black. 
Those are black, yeah. The other ones See? are brown, dude. They were green. They were, they were green. Stop saying they're brown. Wait, what? Well, they're not brown. <laughs> You're the one who's saying they're brown. Those things are pink. <laughs> okay, now you know, now I know you're smoking crack. Come on, birds. <laughs> Alright. What's the next power up? Uh, yeah, actually, I should be heading towards that. I don't want to kill the boss without getting the power up. Uh, it is. Uh, the step ladder. Which, uh, like this river in front of me, helps me traverse one uh, water block wider. So if you wanted to be hip, so you could cross. So yeah. I, with the step ladder, I could run straight in this area. Yeah. But yeah. without it, and um, it would save time because you you cutting corners. Eh? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> Good. You're finally learning. <laughs> Even though there's like a cast animation or something, right? A what? Like, does it? How much time does it take to traverse? The You'll see. I'm I'm gonna spoil it for you. Uh, like you have to physically pause the game and place it or something every single time. Again, I'm not going to say anything. We're going to get it real soon. Alright. Yeah. Why are you on that? Oh, down there. Down there. Down there. And it's in this room, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you're there. You're there. Yep. Yeah. Go kill everything and then... <laughs> They're the Octoroks. I mean, the like Lakes. These are like Lakes. Is this our first appearance of them? Yeah. And these disco balls that just remove your sword swing. So, don't you mean the hot rods? Is that what they're called? Um, from Smash Brothers. Oh, they're not from Mario. That's, they're not the they're not the hotheads from hot Mario. Heads. Hot rods. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going for? Yeah, they look like the hotheads. They do, but they have a face if you can see. Yeah, the skeleton face. Thank God I don't have a shield to lose. So. Oh damn! It's um. Like, I always keep this mini shield, but if I had the large shield, I would have lost it there. Do you ever have, occur, like, face enemies that just demolish you for, like, half your health? Like, yeah. Like, final bosses yeah. and stuff? Um, not bosses, but main, uh, regular enemies. Um, uh, that's what the, that's why I went out of my way to get the defense ring. So, like, raid bosses also, also of such? Mm. Like, room bosses? Yeah. Like, uh, just a clusterfuck of enemies. Yeah. There we go. See? Just, oh, it's damn. Instant. So, uh, can you like, if you so if you face into a pool yeah. of water, it'll just place one. Yeah. What see, the like, hell? there's, oh, there's water. See. There's water here, but uh, being dark, I can't see it. That's so weird. Damn these hot rods! If someone saw this room and they have never played this game or understood like the concept of it, yeah, like they, they would just the ladder without thinking. They would just think the ladder's on like a wall or something. Yeah. Or like, they think it'd be an upwards facing ladder. So if you face right from where you're standing... Like that? Yeah, it'll... That's so weird. But you do have to be careful to make it um, lie properly in the grid. Yeah, because then there'll be like... A, if there's a gap, it won't... It won't let me... Uh, I'll show it off when enemies are dead. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. You can't traverse it if there's a gap of water. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like this for instance, I can't move yeah. any further. Yeah. Now Isn't we, this the same guy? Yeah, but now he's a mini boss. Why? Damn, he hurts. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. How much health did he take off? Most of it. Pretty much everything that you have. Whoa, 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 whoa. Money! Damn, they're not blues. Yeah, imagine if they were blues. It'd be like 130 rupees by now. Or something, 120. I would be pimped out. I don't know what I'm doing. How do you, how do you know? Uh, map. I've got a map open. How would you, how would you know otherwise? Uh, you wouldn't. <laughs> Are they shooting things out of them? No, that's me. I'm checking oh, the boomerang. We, when they face up, it looks like you. He's shitting the boomerang out 
Stop poking me! <laughs> He's excited. He's like hopping up and down. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm it's king. Link! It's Link! I'm king of the world! Never mind, I'm dead. Okay. It's Link, I'm your biggest fan! Oh, don't kill me. I need to sneeze, but it's not coming out. Just do it. <gasps> Please. 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 My, apparently my body wasn't ready. Eh? 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 Yeah. Nothing. Alright. Reckon I can get this guy? Um, I have double defense. Whoa! Is that a dragon? Two headed dragon? Yeah. Dang! One more head? Is his head floating? Yes, made it. Uh, yeah, once you kill the head, it floats. But yeah, I made it. That's a freaking creepy, dude. War of Attrition. Boom. And that's the Vault Dungeon. That was cool. That was a cool one. I liked that. The mm. new, like, element of darkness. Yeah. That, that was pretty cool. Alright, so that was that. Um, we're gonna take another break. We're gonna see you guys soon. In a later installment of the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> see you. Peace. <laughs>